arrival of Madden NFL football signals the end of the summer sports doldrums. And though this year's release ushers in another year of hard-hitting football, the additions and improvements don't make a huge difference to the core experience. A few tweaks make it easier for video football novices to jump right into the gridiron action, but this is largely the same experience with granular changes only Madden aficionados will appreciate. Madden NFL 11 is another solid entry in the long-running franchise that does a good job of building on its established foundation, but doesn't reinvent the oblong-shaped ball. He lets it go. Pulls it in for the long touchdown. The most obvious change to this year's Madden comes in the form of how you call plays. On game day, they use their game plan to call plays. Based on the specific situation, the coach calls the play and relays it to the quarterback, and then the team executes the play. A new game flow feature lets you quickly call up your offensive or defensive play with one button tap, which keeps games moving at a quicker pace. For the most part, this is a good option. The computer does a good job of mixing up which plays are called, and it correlates well with the in-game situations. But there are still some issues. The most notable is the infusion of the Wildcat formation, which is just as lame in Madden as it is in the real games. Once a play using this formation is called, you can't audible something worthwhile either, which pretty much kills the down. The computer sometimes calls awful plays, such as back-to-back -back screens or draws, which forces you to audible to something better. Still, this is a good feature, and you can always tweak your game plan beforehand to limit the appearance of lousy plays. Gameflow helps move things along before you snap the ball, but there are subtle improvements to the on-the-field action as well. The biggest change is to the artificial intelligence. Run blocking in particular has been improved from last year, allowing you to predict where your blocks are going to come from much easier, which in turn makes running the ball much more satisfying. On the defensive side, cornerbacks no longer get repeatedly fooled by slant routes. You have to mix up your passing attack if you want any success at the higher difficulty level, which forces you to put thought into your offensive strategy rather than just running a few money plays over and over again. Improved AI also makes it harder to cheese your way down the field by running quarterback sneaks. Despite these improvements, there are still noticeable issues. Quarterbacks have a tendency to spray the ball at times, turning what should be an easy five-yard dump off into a cover-your-eyes, Jamarcus Russell caliber disaster. As improved as the offensive line is, there are still plays in which your linemen block absolutely no one. It's maddening when you drop back to pass and have four defensive players tugging on your arms before you even have a chance to breathe. Finally, you can still substitute a fast wide receiver in for your quarterback to exploit the defense. Trying to sack someone who is significantly faster than the average quarterback is a Sisyphean task, so unscrupulous players can use this strategy to run circles around their opponent. There is one new mode in this year's Madden, but it's not very interesting. Ultimate Team gives you a roster full of second-tier NFL players and you earn bigger names by winning games, either against a friend in online play or by taking on the computer. Clawing your way to the top is a cool concept, but this mode fails for one very important reason. It's not fun to play as no-name players. The best part of Madden is taking control of your favorite franchise with your favorite players and building a Super Bowl champion. Ultimate Team takes away that appeal. It's hard to have an emotional attachment to a team when your quarterback is Kevin O'Connell and your running back is some scrub from a college called Liberty. There's also a Madden Moments mode in which you replay the best games from last season. This is a great concept because it's a lot of fun to recreate dramatic comebacks or turn the tables on history and change an aggravating outcome. But this too has issues. The most egregious problem is that you can't restart in the middle of a game. So, for instance, when you're trying to mount a colossal comeback as the Dolphins against the Saints, your first play is a long fourth down. If you screw up that conversion, you either have to quit out to the main menu and load the challenge again, or just sit and watch while the eventual Super Bowl champs run up the score. More troubling for football fans are inaccurate rosters. These games all took place last season, but you're using this year's roster. When you're trying to will the Broncos to a last second victory over the Bengals, you won't have Brandon Marshall to help you. And Sam Bradford is the Rams quarterback, even though he was in college when the Colts Ram game took place. This inattentional detail is frustrating and makes these dramatic moments less impactful. The presentation is at least much better in Madden 11 than previous games. Runs through the tackle. He's wrestled down. Gus Johnson is the new play-by-play -play man, and though his enthusiasm sounds forced at times, he has a huge improvement over the interminably dull Tom Hammond from last year's version. There's also an elaborate championship parade when you win the Super Bowl, complete with a trip to the White House. 
but the presentation is still lacking in other places. This is the extra point. A post-game wrap-up show is still too vague to make it worth watching, and the commentators' calls on the field are frequently way behind the action. But overall, this does a better job of replicating the real sport than previous versions. Going up top! Madden NFL 11 is a very good football game. The streamlined play calling helps keep the action moving at a steady pace, and the improved AI and more realistic physics ensure this is the closest Madden has ever come to replicating the real sport. But there are still some issues that keep this from being a must-buy for those unsure if they need another virtual football game. The pointless new ultimate Madden mode doesn't add anything of substance to the package, and there are enough small quirks and flubs during the game that it can distract at times. Still, Madden 11 is another fun addition of the long-running franchise.